it's our side studios here back get one new video in today's video we are going to be talking about why i think the new chucky trailer kind of boom i doomed the season two so i've been talking to instagram and people be thinking i'm seeking for attention in a way but no offense to me because i don't take no offense whatsoever those are people's opinion you know it's cool but um i'm trying to give you my reason and now it's the reason is because if y'all never like never ever like what you call it put two and two together and think about it for once Don Mancini has done this shit before to y'all fans me too as a fan um what i'm talking about is okay first film that he directed all right he was a fuck up he wanted to go straight to comedy and it did not go nowhere in the franchise let alone you know it kind of failed and lost the entrance for uh, universal to boost chucky in theaters now because of that one act it's crazy right <laughs> but um anyways so we're not gonna include cedar chucky because everyone knows cedar chucky is the worst film in the ranking of Chucky's, but um, I don't think Sea Chucky is that bad. But I'm saying like, in ranking wise, it's bad. I don't hate Sea Chucky. I just know that it's bad in the ranking wise. So I'm gonna leave it leave it at it as it is. I mean, I do kind of like all the Chucky movies. Not all of them. I hate quote Chucky. Nah, I don't hate quote Chucky. The thing is, I dislike quote Chucky. There's no there's no such thing as hate. You know, dislike, yeah. I just dislike that one. All right, so let's get to the chase. What I'm talking about, about Don Mancini doing this shit to us again. So what I'm talking about is when Don Mancini came back as a director after Seed, he made the movie Curse of Chucky. He went to straight to DVD and everything, right? It was actually pretty good for, for what Chucky was missing for nine years. It was actually a pretty good project. A pretty good film in general but you know let alone we had to wait four years to a cliffhanger and you know it was a good cliffhanger it's just that people were urged to know so that man saying i think a year later or a couple months later he teased there's gonna be a chucky 7 we all know in the mix that there will be a future chucky films but we just don't know how long it will take but this one took at least you know four years you know not bad because see Chucky and Curse Chucky between them it was nine years so you know it was not that bad so you know Curse Chucky was kind of successful in a way but we just didn't know like you know that why didn't the next Chucky movie go straight to theaters now but so let's get to the chase so after Curse Chucky was a good movie I like Curse Chucky it kind of re redeemed um Chucky in general but um, there was one element afterwards that came after the four years. Cold Chucky, obviously we know. Um, Cold Chucky was a film that I was actually interested in watching. Uh, obviously, I'm a Chucky fan, so obviously you know that. But um, Cold Chucky, in a way, disappointed me. Reason is because Don Mancini hates Tom Holland, the guy who made the first movie. You know, he basically grabbed Don Mancini's original script in the first movie, looked over it, you know, started taking some of the elements out and then putting his elements in to make Chucky good. You know, I'm not saying Don Mancini's, you know, original script is probably trash, but I'm saying that, like, if someone was to help you, accept that help because we, we are not perfect for it. We're not perfect. You know, like in general, in human beings, like to actually obviously do something. Like Don Mancini, obviously, was probably first script to his film. Um, but he thought his film was, I mean, his script was like that good that he doesn't need no corrections. No, most of the people that write stuff do need corrections in their work. It's gonna happen to anybody, even at work, they will have somebody correct you. It's the rookie thing that rookies will obviously get hit by correction um but to Don Mancini that was a big diss for him because Tom Holland in a way messed up his original you know 
or origin for Chucky. Um, which I don't think. I think Don, uh, Tom Holland did actually help Don Mancini, but we, we we just it just leave it to that. But um, so what he did in Child's Play 2 was named with a good guy Tommy for Chucky's eventually start smashing. You know, he did that on purpose. But you know, it is what it is. We leave him to you know fighting whatever. But um, so yeah, Don Mancini obviously in Cold Chucky. Um, instead of actually using the voodoo element, what Tom Holland brought into the original um, film, instead of actually using it and actually using it smart, this motherfucker, no offense to Diamond C, but it kind of pisses me off. Instead of using the original element, he, this is the original element. Like, bro, did, didn't Tom Holland or didn't his work had enough in Charles Blake 2? And Bride of Chucky? Bride of Chucky, we kind of, we kind of let it. You know, hang there in Bridal Chucky. But, um, no, Cobra Chucky, you want to call it Voodoo for, for Dummies.com. Search bullshit, bullshit, whatever. And that's how you expand your bo um, your soul to bodies. No, man. Don Mancini done fucked it up. You know, Cobra Chucky. That's why Cobra Chucky wasn't the best in my, you know, heart and ranking of Chucky. I did like it, but I did not like it as of. Oh, it's another redemption for Chucky. No, no. Curse of Chucky was the only redemption I've seen Don Mancini done so far from the, these two. And, you know, Cold Chucky disappointed me. Especially towards the cliffhanger. Like, they really needed to, um, you know, add, you know, stupid elements to that, you know, end scene. Like, really? We know fucking, you know... We're gonna have another cliffhanger with Chuck, three Chucky dolls. Like, why? You know, what the fuck happened to them? Like, okay, Cold Chucky didn't. Okay, that's the only thing that disappointed me in Cold Chucky was that. But then and again, if you go to the TV series from Cold Chucky, the TV series, what the fuck happened to those other two Chucky dolls? Or three, whatever. I don't know, man. What happened to those motherfuckers? Like, bro, they did not tell you. They just, they just moved the story weeks, I think, more, and just went like that. Another cliffhanger, not to be off. Same thing with Alice and Cursed Chucky. That's what fucked me up with these franchise. With Tom Mancini's work, like, he doesn't finish the the the, the, the left cliffhangers. He just lets it be and goes on. That's what happens with Cedar Chucky. That's what season two actually bring Glenn. And that's cool. But um, you know, okay, moving on to the TV series. It was actually good redemption. It was actually like one or two episodes that I did not like from the, the season. But other than that, <clears throat> it was actually a good fucking TV series. Like, honestly, I do recommend you all watch the season one. Not sure about season two yet. The trailer bunked me. Okay, now we're going to the trailer. The reason why I say Don Mancini needs to hold back in directing these films now. It's because he doesn't, to me, he has no idea how the fans could actually know the character more than actually him. No offense, but Glenn and Glenda, yo, like, we've seen Cedar Chucky, right? And we had how many years to actually figure out their origin, you know, Wikipedia, internet, all that. Um, <clears throat> we had fucking from Curse of Chucky, that was nine. Fucking Cold Chucky, that was actually another 13 years in total. Then we waited for another TV series, for like what, 17? And after that, we waited 18 actually years to find out what the fuck happened to Glenn and Glenda. And to actually ex to ex you know, include them as like Glenn's a girl and Glenda is a tomboy? No offense, but. I thought it was two souls trapped in one body. That's what I remember. But now you wanna move the story a little weirder, weirder from what the fans, you know, eventually knew from the 18 years back, or maybe between those 18 years, you know, thinking that's the true story like me. Like there's two souls trapped in one body and that's why they're kind of confused, you know, this and that. And then top it all off, you take, you know, uh, what you call it, Billy Boyd's uh, voice. But what the actual fuck is going on with this franchise? Like that's what I'm saying. Dominic Cini needs to 
fold out. Either don't bring nothing up anymore, or just, you know, stop doing cliffhangers, or stop doing confusing stories. Because I actually looked into Glenn and Glenna's story over the years of them disappearing in the franchise, and to find them out about like this, it's kind of disappointing. If you ask me, honestly, you know, hardcore Chucky fan, and I'm actually a, a good, like, a Glenn fan as well. This is like, disrespect me like that? I'm like, bro, fucking happened to the confused kid because he has two souls trapped on one body. And then to have the trigger say Glenda didn't know her mom's a killer when she's seen, clearly seen her kill somebody in seed of Chucky towards the end of the film. How did you all fucking not get that shit? First of all, how are you gonna call yourself Chucky fans if you did not get that shit? You know, and like down the you know comments of the um, trailers or Instagram, whatever. Like for real, what? Am I the only one digging deep into this? I know Nightmare Crib thinking digging in deep into this. Maybe Dan New Industries too, but you know, you know, supposedly he's supposed to have a video as well of like I'm tr I'm doing a rant. So yeah, that makes me think Dumb and C doesn't know what the fuck's he doing half of the time when he's doing his Chucky, you know, films, TV series, whatever, etc. etc. But damn, you know, I don't I hate C of Chucky. I just like it. But I like it as its own movie if we could like fix it, you know, like we could make a sequel based on that and fix it up from that. Cold Chucky, I do not like it. Like I said, this is like Cold Chucky. Don't want that shit, you know. Ever, ever mention, so please, you know, besides the Nika shit, do not mention Cold Chucky because that movie was kind of boring and kind of confusing at the same time. You, like Andy Barkley did not have nothing, like, didn't, didn't really do shit towards the whole film. <clears throat> That's how bullshit was. Like, why? Do y'all do this to us? Like, we want Andy to actually do shit in the TV series. Season one, he was somewhat, but we know he could do better. Like, what the fuck is stopping Dominic Sandy for actually writing something good for Andy and Kyle? And actually adding more characters because we didn't get no other characters as cliffhangers in the TV series. No Tyler, no Silva, not even the Picades, you know, Jesse and Jay. What the fuck? We're supposed to get under a cliffhanger, I believe, at the end of season one. Like, not cliffhanger, but a tease for the next character. I know Karen Barkley and Mike Norris will never come back, I guess. But why not fucking add the other characters? I think one of them said he might want to come back, but Tom Mancini is not really listening to that because he would have put that in season one. Maybe season two might get it, if, if season two is successful for season three. And please, if you do a season three, Don Mancini, please, like, I'm not saying I don't want you in the series, but I'm saying please hold back as a director, because, man, you kind of ruin stories on characters-wise and cliffhanger-wise. So we're not going to, we're probably going to get the, you know, sequence between the, the TV series cliffhanger, like, through in season two, but we are not going to get other cliffhangers. What the fuck? I don't know, there wasn't really that much cliffhangers in season 1, low key. So, I don't know, you probably could cover the cliffhangers in season 2, like nothing. But, um, but yeah. Just, you know, if season 3 does get lit up, please, Don, just write this shit and let someone correct you somewhat. And don't direct most of it, just direct like 1 or 2. Yeah, direct 1 or 2, I know there's 8 episodes. So someone could direct the other six, or maybe could just have other people direct each episode. Like I think you did with season one. I'm not sure if you're doing season two, but it just looks like you're doing the whole season, season two. No offense, but but yeah, I just I just hope you know we learn from our mistakes and hope Chucky gets better. You know, I'm not. No, there's no offense with the gay stuff in Chucky. It's just that Glenn and Glenna is probably the only thing because I thought. It was a different storyline between them, you know, the reason why Glenn's confused because he was sharing the body with Glenda. I guess not. 
I guess Glenn wanna actually be the girl and then Glenn actually wanna be a tomboy or something like that. I don't know. It doesn't matter anymore. I just my own research to Glenn is incorrect, obviously, according to Don or according to anybody that fucked that up. I'm just disappointed on that. You know. But um you know, eighteen years of research are between those eighteen years of research and that, that happens. What can I do? You no. Know? gotta move on you know like people say move on bro we, we get it like just move on i mean all right whatever just chucky's is confusing as franchise it's from that you know for sure from that it's confusing franchise but yeah i am gonna watch season two i might do a review on season two make sure i'm you know i'm hopefully i'm proven proven wrong i'm just hoping i get proven wrong like hopefully i'm not right the season two is gonna be trash completely. but um who knows who knows um that's how i'm gonna watch all episodes i think october 5th is where the first one airs and all that but the thing that sucks about that is because i think chucky should be like a netflix series if it has a season if it, if it has a season three and just have all the episodes come out one day because i don't like that tuesday where october 5th on tuesday I don't like that. Oh, alright, so you gotta wait every Tuesday after from October 5th. You gotta wait seven more Tuesdays to actually finish the season. It bugs me because, of, uh, like, people got jobs out here. We, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got jobs. Other people got jobs. Like, we just wanna finish this in our break time, our, in our, like, free time, you know, and start reviewing this. Man, I know 3C Film is gonna review this. I watch this content all the time. You know, he's one of the cool role models as a reviewer in movie, you know, breakdown, stuff like that. He's cool. But I'm going to watch his uh, videos to see what he thinks and see what he catches because he be catching Easter eggs left and right. But yeah, so I hope I didn't offend anybody. I'm just like, you know, kind of like as a fan broken because of Don Mancini, what he's been doing with this franchise in some way. He teased us a good move film. Actually, no, no, he gave us a good film just to fuck it up, to give us a good show, because I did it kind of like season one. Just to maybe fuck up the next season. Why, like, come on, y'all gotta see the pattern here. Y'all gotta make me crazy. I'm a true Chucky fan, and I think Nightmare and me see the pattern, but not a lot of people could catch that pattern. They just, they just like Chucky, no matter what he does or what, fuck kind of episode it is could be the boringest episode you're still gonna enjoy the episode no bro you gotta actually be a good fan of this franchise you actually gotta tell the good from the bad like i did so child's play 3 isn't that bad right but a lot of people say it's hella bad no it's only the bad part of the fucking trilogy but it's not the worst film as a chucky fan seed and quote might be for me but some people might say otherwise um yeah so that's just, that's my rant about Don Mancini why he should step down I'm hoping I could get proven wrong from season 2 you know I'll watch it and if 4 episodes good then yeah maybe I got proved wrong but the four, rest of the 4 sucks I'll just say I got proven somewhat wrong but not fully wrong but let's say 5 episodes good or no no let's say like yeah let's say 5 episodes good and three suck, like three of them suck, then yeah, I got proven wrong because five of the, like five out of the eight got good, you know, like they just got perfect. But yeah, if y'all like my video, which some might not, some will because they will actually like dig into what I'm talking about, not fully agree with me, but dig into what I'm talking about, you know. There's a lot of people gonna be ignorant about it, but just please do your research into it before you do anything in the comments, before you say anything. Like I'll let anything slide in the comment. If you do your research, please. Um But if you wanna be that ignorant guy, go ahead, you know. But um but yeah, please like or maybe dislike for some of you. Comment, subscribe, and maybe hit the you know, bell button. Who knows? Maybe you might, you might not. I mean, like, low-key, I'm not offended if you don't, because I'm kind of dissing people's, you know, kind of favorite director. Maybe most of you guys love Don Mancini. I'm not saying I don't like Don Mancini. I'm, like, it's neutral with him. Not, not, like, a big fan of him, but I'm not a dislike fan of him. 
but yeah do all those what i just said and you know i'll see you on the next one hopefully i do like a cobra kai tribute you know this week or next week um you know of course it's gonna be robbie maybe miguel in the mix but um but yeah uh, i'll see y'all in the next one